what is up guys it is your boy main mania welcome back to another episode of the nightmare tower of mk mobile in today's episode i believe what we will have is our final video for a nightmare tower boss battle but today we're gonna switch things up a little bit and this will be uh to the delight of some of you guys because I will be using a character that I have been shitting on for a very, very long time. Some of y'all love her. Y'all know I can't stand her. But today we're going to rock with the assassins. You guys already know Assassin Katana is my favorite character in the game. Assassin Jade is also one of my favorites to play as well. She's in my top five. And... um. I can't stand Assassin Scarlet. So, the plan here is to rock Assassin Jade and Katana as my damage dealers, and then use Scarlet as my brutality machine. Because Jason, I believe, resurrects twice, if I remember correctly. Hey, listen. I don't know how it's gonna work out because I don't like Assassin Scarlet's timing that much, but. We're going to give it a shot. So, if you guys can appreciate me using this devil above, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like on this video from now. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Oh my, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I hate this. I freaking hate this. Oh, fuck! You bitch! Stupid baby! I'm not your daddy! I'm not going on Mori! The tower's wrapping up in a couple days, and um, we're definitely not going to make it back to Battle 200. I do apologize if my voice sounds weird. I feel like I've been losing my voice. I do not have unblockable on oh, Jesus. On Jade. And I do not have weak point attacks either. Which is concerning. No, no. No, no, no. Damn it. I wanted that combo. Give me this one. I knew I was going to get 100 on that. All right. We're going to tag out. Tag in. Going to power drain. And we're going to let Assassin Katana do what Assassin Katana does. Which is absolutely annihilate people. When they think that she's a potato. I'm telling you, man. Her combos are very, very, very good. Will you do any damage? Can you get a brutality? No. Is she even is is he even um at the mark? Can you please get a brutality? I want to see you do it. Oh god, no. Oh, oh. Get out. Oh my god, you're about to die. No! I wanted to hit. Oh. All right, Scarlet. It's your time to shine, girl. She's actually not doing too bad with the build I have on her, which is basically just unblockable plus her brutality gear. Really? You bitch. I want you gone. Not the best use of my time. But this guy's healing, and I can't stop that. So what I'm going to try to do... Mm, nope. Nope. Let's heal. Nope. <clears throat> nope! Damn it. He's, he's healing through everything. Come on, baby. Can I get a solid lethal? Can I get a solid lethal and then... 
come on, brutality. Come on, that would have been so perfect, Scarlet. You had one job. Guys, that would have been so perfect. That would have been the moment of redemption she needed. Oh my God. Scarlet, that was your chance to shine. She did good. She did good. She didn't feel bad at all. All right, guys, let's finish this off in the next one. I'm so disappointed by that. You have no idea. Oh, my God. Fight. I'm so disappointed. Go! Of course you do it on the first try now. Of course. Of course she does it on the first try now. Guys, it could have been so perfect. Her moment of redemption. This was her chance at her moment of redemption. And she failed. She failed. It's all good though. Um, Actually, that's the first time I've ever done her brutality as I've told you guys before. I'm not a big fan of the Scarlet character in general and her timings. But I do think Assassin Scarlet of the three Scarlets, does have the best timing of the Scarlets in the game. Uh, you know, still not a big fan of her, her character in general and her passive only triggering at 50%. But we got the job done. We did what we had to do and we got the job done. So no complaints there. All right, guys, this is the last chance we have to get something decent from the tower. Any diamond in the game, right? Any diamond. What will it be? Cross your fingers for your boy. Oh, 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 my left nut. Dark Emperor Liu Kang, baby. This is big. This is big. One more away from Fusion Freaking X. Dark Emperor Liu Kang is a monster he's a monster this is a great freaking diamond man now we got we have both him and tournament quan chi at um at fusion nine so one more and they'll both be x60 with my home girl dark empress katana and then after that as far as the circle of shadow team I want to work on Kung Lao because I think Kung Lao is a monster. And with his brutality equipment and his passive, I think Revenant Kung Lao is going to end up becoming a top 10 diamond after that. I mean, was he a top 10 diamond before? I don't think anybody really considered him a top 10 diamond. But with his brutality equipment, It really does break him. You know, same way with Cold War um, Sub-Zero, right? He's a good character. But when you use, you know, his brutality equipment with him and weather warfare, he's like unstoppable. So I really feel like it's that same kind of effect on Revenant Kung Lao. So uh, I will try to focus on him once I can get these two Circle of Shadow characters to Fusion X. I'm hoping... Hoping, hoping, hoping that the Elite Netherrealm Elder God pack goes on sale for Black Friday. Because if it does, I will be spending the majority of my souls on that pack. And hopefully we will get a lot of these characters leveled up a little bit. I can't say it's going to happen because this game can be very mean to me sometimes. But we will see what happens. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our final boss fight of the Nightmare Tower. I'm hoping the Tower of Horror is next. Hoping, hoping, hoping. I still have not heard anything about the Tower of Horror and it hurts my heart because I was looking forward to finally getting a piece of stinking resurrection equipment and No word on it yet. So let's hope it's gonna start soon. 
even though it's not in Halloween season, I still think it was weird that they skipped Tower of Horror to bring Nightmare first, but maybe they did it because of the packs they planned on putting on sale for Halloween and they wanted the Nightmare characters to get some shine. Let's just assume that's what they were doing. Not that WB does the uh, smartest things, but... Listen, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you are happy with your boy, we're finally getting a really, really, really strong diamond. And that's two in a row. That's two strong ass diamonds in a row. Then make sure uh, you guys leave a like on this video and show it some love. If you're new to the channel and you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Two Spooky Mania series will be debuting extremely soon if they have not already. So if you haven't caught up on my Spooky Mania series, make sure you guys do. And other than that, let me know what you guys got from your final runs in the Nightmare Tower. What characters did you guys get? What are the diamonds you guys got blessed with? And none of you guys better say Strike Force Scorpion because I know you guys like to rub it in that you guys be getting him all the time. And it took me so long to get my first one. I see you guys. Stop rubbing it in. Show offs. I'll see y'all in the comment section. It's your boy Main Mania. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.